There is barely ever a piece of national news that doesn't inspire Akshay Kumar, who after giving three back-to-back -back flops is now ready with his next offering, which is about Ram Setu, a 48km chain of limestone shoals between Rameshwaram on India's southeast coast and Manar Island near Sri Lanka's northwest coast. According to a study conducted by Madras University and Anna University, the Ram Setu was formed as many as 18,400 years ago and it is a deeply significant structure in Hindu mythology and beliefs. I found the trailer interesting of Ram Setu but again the VFX doesn't look at all convincing to me. I just hope that this time around Akshay Kumar has got better research done for his script than scraping through first two links of Google and a Wikipedia article like many of his previous films that are churned out like assembly line factory products. Because Ram Setu is no ordinary bridge. It stands on years of divine trust, faith and debate that has seen its share of controversies. Also called the Adams Bridge, it has been at the center of several legal cases as well. As per reports, Ram Setu has significance in both Hindu and Muslim mythology. While Hindus believe this is the Setu built by Sri Ram and his Vanar Sena to cross to the Lanka and fight Ravan as per Islamic legend, Adam used this bridge to reach Adam's Peak in Sri Lanka where he stood on one foot for a thousand years in repentance. Now scientists believe that Ram Setu is a natural structure formed due to tectonic movements and sand getting trapped in corals. However, over the years, evidence has been offered to claim that Ram Setu is man-made. Hindu right-wing outfits argue that the bridge is not entirely natural, which proves that it was indeed built by Sri Ram. But the Ram Setu issue snowballed into a major controversy when the Setu Samudaram project flagged off during the UPA-1 government proposed to dredge around the Setu with right-wing bodies and then in the opposition, the BJP, calling it an attack on Hindu sentiments. Various studies have been proposed on Ram Setu, with the most recent being last year, when the government approved an underwater research project to ascertain its origins. But what is the Setu Samudaram project and will it impact the ecological balance of the nature? This is a shipping canal project that aims to create a shipping route between India and Sri Lanka by building an 83km long deep water channel which would also reduce travel time between the eastern and western coast of India. This is because after this canal is built, ships would no longer have to circle Sri Lanka to travel between the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. Versions of this project have been proposed from as far back as the 1860s. The current project began under the NDA-1 government with the Vajpayee regime approving 3500 crore rupees budget in 2004. However, the inauguration was done only in 2005 by the then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. The project was challenged in the court where the controversy escalated. The Archaeological Survey of India or the ASI filed an affidavit in the court rejecting the existence of Ram Setu saying, contents of the Valmiki Ramayana and the Ramcharitramanas by Tulsidas and the other mythological texts which form an important part of ancient Indian literature cannot be said to be historical record to prove the existence of the characters or the occurrence of the events depicted therein. Now this obviously led to such an uproar in India that not only was the affidavit withdrawn, two ASI officials were suspended as well. But from then on, the project started taking a more communal colour. An article in the RSS mouthpiece by Gautam Sen in 2007 read, The dredging of the Ram Setu is simply outrageous. It is the equivalent of orphaning an entire civilization by denying the wellsprings of its foundation. But it's not just the religious sentiments. The Setu Samudaram project has been opposed on environmental grounds too, with some claiming that it will harm the marine life and that dredging of the line of shoals will make India's coast more vulnerable to tsunamis. NASA has also weighed in on the debate because the images of the Ram Setu clicked by NASA from space have been used over and over again to claim that this proves the existence of a man-made bridge. But NASA has repeatedly clarified that it does not agree with these claims. In March 2018, the center told the Supreme Court that the Ram Setu will not be affected in the execution of the Setu Samudaram shipping canal project. Another plea by BJP leader Subramaniam Swami seeking a direction to the centre to declare the Ram Setu a national heritage monument is with the Supreme Court currently. But let us tell you that the Setu Samudaram project received approval of the Indian government way back in 2005. As of today, the most recent plan is to dig the channel roughly in the middle of the straits to provide the shortest course and the course requiring least maintenance. This plan avoids the demolition of Ram Setu. But coming back to Akshay Kumar's film Ram Setu, 
the trailer gives away the plot right from the courtroom hearing where it is revealed that the government has requested supreme court's permission to demolish ram setu to south actor nasser who presumably plays uh, the si chief sending akshay kumar on an archaeological expedition to ram setu but then it is shown that this is a suicide mission but our hero then deep dives into the arabian sea to find out the truth at all cost women don't have much to do here and even if they did we have jacqueline fernandez so performance is pretty much ram bharose anyway none of the actors have uh, shown any outstanding performance in the trailer as such noshad barucha has one talking scene and the only difference in akshay kumar in this film is his hairdo the chanting of ram ram in the background is of course relevant and impactful so do you feel that akshay kumar will be able to do justice to this massive subject of ram setu in his big diwali release that is coming to the theaters on 25th october Do you think that this film will leave you more educated and informed about Ram Setu and also entertain you as a film is supposed to? Let us know whatever your thoughts are in the comments below. Also let me know if you are facing any issues with your hair like hair thinning or hair loss because the Ronak 40 promo code is still on. In fact you don't even have to use it. You just have to click on the link in the description and the link that I have pinned in the comments as well and order it for a full 40% off that is still on. A lot of you have already done that. A lot of you are messaging me, including my friends and family who have used it, have told me, and I myself have used it and seen the difference in my hair. I had such hair thinning issues; I can't even begin to tell you. But now, as you can see, everything is all right. So, well, if you want it, you can order it with that link in the description. The forty percent off will be automatically applied. If you don't want it, just ignore this information, like how Akshay Kumar ignores all the criticism and all the flops that he's been giving <laughs> all through the year. before coming up with a film like ram setu of course you can let me know your thoughts about this product about ram setu about any other news that we do any other videos that we do on my instagram it is at the rate review ron that's the same on facebook as well i'm available on twitter as at the rate ron akotecha like share subscribe hit the bell icon if you find our videos worth it but as always even if you don't do any of these things thank you so much for watching this one and please take care of yourself and those around you jai hind